y'all what's up what's poppin welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is asia please make sure you like comment and subscribe also don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you get notified every time i post a new video so of course you can tell by the title we are in new orleans with the vibes and by we i mean me and y'all so this is like a semi um solo trip because for the first couple days i'm gonna be by myself but then my home girl decided that she was gonna join me so she's coming on monday and we have like um an activity planned i'll tell y'all as i go what we got going on because i was just booking stuff um so i could have like a you know good experience in new orleans um i'm kind of annoyed because this little piece on my um camera broke and now i'm literally holding my camera so i can see myself on a viewfinder and i'm very annoyed because i feel like every time i go to vlog it's always something like in my last vlog my camera wanted to act stupid when i was getting ready um to go to chelsea's event and then at the um event it was acting stupid like uh, I'm so annoyed y'all but I'm definitely gonna get that fixed because I can't I'm trying to vlog and I don't want nothing to like discourage me or hold me back so as soon as I get back I'm gonna get that fixed also I'm an annoyed again because why did I have to walk like three or four blocks because my uber couldn't drop me off um because like my hotel's on like the main block so it's parades going on non-stop I don't know if you guys can hear um outside the screaming the yelling the bands but it literally took me like probably a good 30 to 45 minutes just across the street because the police have it like barricaded off but it is what it is like i guess it's mardi gras so and it's parade so that's what has to happen but next time I, i'm a no better if i if i ever come back next time i'm a no better no better like i wanted to come for the experience so like um yeah and then you can tell baby hairs edges all lifted up because i was walking sweating them out so yeah y'all i just threw on the robe and um i'm about to get in the shower and throw something comfy on and then just go outside to the parade because i just want to um indulge i was gonna lay down and just relax but you know what i'm gonna just go outside and be like social because i don't want to stay in a hotel room on a friday night so yeah that's what i'm gonna do but anyway i just wanted to check in with y'all and tell y'all what was going on in the vlog because i don't know if i opened the camera to talk to y'all or not i think i was just getting b-roll the whole time but yeah y'all so i'm excited i'm so happy to be here um yeah i want y'all to you know experience new orleans if y'all ever come here if y'all want to um see what i'm doing if you have any questions on anything let me know because um yeah we experiencing this together like it's the first time for everything i'm so excited though i'm really excited to try the food though because if y'all know me, I'm a foodie for real. Like, I love food. I love food, y'all. Oh, my God. And I love southern food, too. Like, see, but if I didn't like seafood, if seafood wasn't my number one option, southern food would come right after. You know what I'm saying? But it's seafood, then southern food. And um, New Orleans got both, so we about to indulge. We about to indulge bad, y'all. But, yeah. Anyway, my camera's acting stupid. It's getting blurry. That's why I'm looking at the viewfinder. But yeah, I will talk to y'all in a little while. Um, I'll probably bring y'all outside with me. Of course, I'm gonna bring y'all outside with me. Not probably. I'm gonna bring y'all outside with me. Show y'all what's going on outside. And yeah, um, you know what? Let me give y'all a little room tour because I, I always do the room tour. Y'all know I love my room tour. So hold on. So it's really nothing much to it, y'all. But this is the doorway. Um... This is the bathroom. Good lighting. You guys know that I love good lighting. There's me. Full body mirror, which we love. Me again. Hey, y'all. Um, This is the whole room. My bed. And you know what? It's cozy. It's cute. I just love when I have like a big screen TV. So, you know, I can watch my videos, my YouTube videos, music, whatever I want to watch. Here's the outside, the, the window. I don't know if y'all can really see much, but because I'm on the 11th floor, so I don't know if y'all can see much. I don't really have a great view of the street, but if you can see, that's what's going on outside, y'all. Nothing. That ain't crazy. I'm not close to like the front of the hotel. I'm on like the side. But they left a note and they left me some snacks. I don't know why it's getting blurry. They left me some snacks. So we got 
Voodoo New Orleans kettle style chips. So I'm gonna try those. We got some spicy Cajun critters. And we just got some, some water. So that's it, y'all. We just got some water. What is this? Oh, chocolate. So they gave us some chocolate, y'all. And look at my little nails, y'all. Normally don't get really nothing. I'm like a plain, simple girl. But he was like, let me put a heart on your, your nails for Valentine's. Why doesn't it want to focus, y'all? Doesn't want to focus. But, yeah. Anyway. Let me take a shower and get ready to go outside to the parade. I'll talk to y'all in a little while. Hey, y'all. What's up? Welcome to another day in a vlog. It is February 10th. It's now 8, 11 a.m. in the morning. I think um, New York is like an hour um, ahead of New Orleans, I believe. I'm not sure. I got to look that up. But I remember when I was like doing my little research, I felt like they were like an hour apart. Anyway, y'all. Uh, um... So last night, I didn't end up going back outside to the parade because I am tired. 32 was catching up to your girl. I was traveling all day. I woke up at 8 a.m. I had to run to the mall. I don't know if I told y'all that, but I didn't have um, everything I wanted to pack with me. So I ran to the mall. Then I had to go, um, you know, drive to the airport and everything like that and make my flight. So I was just tired, y'all. But um, yeah, I'm well rested. Set my alarm to 8. But I woke up at 7 and I've just been laying there. So um, today on the agenda, I am about to go downstairs and get um, some breakfast because my hotel comes with complimentary breakfast every day. So I am getting my money's worth, period. But then um, after that, I'm going to come upstairs, take a shower, I'm going to get dressed, and then I'm going to go walk down to the mall. And if any of the parades are going on, I'll probably go back outside for a little while, see what's going on outside. Because my hotel is like on the main road where all the parades go by because last night when I tried to take the Uber here I had to get dropped off four or five blocks down the block because he couldn't make it down here so yeah you know they gave me part a partial refund for that because I was about to kick and scream but anyway so um yeah I got um an activity book for today so I booked it on get your guide I don't know if you guys are familiar with that app but when I was on my London and um Paris Amsterdam trip I booked all my activities on there so this app is good for booking activities this is good I can't even talk right now y'all this app is good for booking activities um mostly anywhere different states countries love it so today I have authentic Cajun shrimp boil and cabaret show that's at seven o'clock so I'm gonna go do my makeup at five o'clock and I don't know if y'all see my Houston vlog, but the makeup artist that did my um, makeup for Houston, she's out here because her family lives out here. Um, so she's going to do my makeup at 5 and then I'm going to meet up with her and her friends after my activity and we're going to go to the club. So that should be fun. Then tomorrow, I'm doing an evening jazz cruise. So I'm excited about that too. And then my last activity... I might do one more, but my last activity so far that I have booked on Monday is a Swamp Zimpline tour, which I'm excited about. Y'all know I'm afraid of heights, but I just be trying to do stuff so I can say I've done it. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to knock things off your bucket list, fearful or not. But yeah, y'all, so let me throw something on. Let's go down and eat some breakfast. And yeah, that is what's on the agenda today. Um, y'all know I'm about to throw some B-roll in here, bring y'all downstairs with me. And yeah, so that's what's going on right now. I just wanted to check in on a vlog, let y'all know what's going on with your girl. But yeah, I will bring y'all with me down to breakfast. So let's go to breakfast. Uh, I love the water, y'all. It really relaxes me. 
hey you guys what's up i just made it back to the hotel from the mall i'm so annoyed because as i was going to record for you guys the other screw fell out of the back of my camera so i'm literally like holding up my viewfinder just to make sure i'm in focus like this is what i mean if it's not one thing it's another like last vlog it was my car the vlog before that i think it was my computer and i still haven't gotten my computer fixed i've just been you know rolling with the punches just trying to you know take my time vlogging on it but i feel like i'm gonna have to get a new computer soon and now when i get back i'm gonna have to fix my camera like this is what discourages me from posting on youtube but you know the devil works but god works harder so i'm not gonna i'm, I'm gonna i'm just gonna try to stay positive y'all <sighs> breathe asia i'm so annoyed y'all but anyway, y'all, uh, so at breakfast, I met this lady that's also staying in the same hotel as me. Her name is Christina. She comes to Mardi Gras every year. Um, she's really nice. She says she's from Houston, Texas, and y'all know how I feel about Houston, Texas. I feel like every time I go out or I'm on vacation, I meet somebody from Houston, Texas. And um, yeah, that's just how I know I'm destined to be there because i just love houston but yeah y'all so she told me that she was going to go um sit outside and wait for the parade to come so i told her i was running to the mall then i was gonna go shower and meet her back outside so that's what i'm about to do i'm about to jump in the shower and then go meet her outside but literally y'all everybody's like lined up on the sidewalk in their chairs waiting for the parade because i think it comes to us around like 12 30 it started at like eight so i'm really about to like that's about to be me on Tuesday when Zulu comes out because I really want to see that parade. Like, I have nothing planned for that whole day on Tuesday just so I can see that parade and the um, other parade that follows it. I think it's Rex that um, Christina told me. But, yeah, I'm excited for um, the parades and just to enjoy Mardi Gras because I feel like I'm here at the best time. And it feels so good outside. I was walking and the mall is by like a riverfront so i was by the water and i don't know if i told y'all but i'm going on a um, river cruise tomorrow so it was just like so cool but yeah y'all let me jump in the shower let me get dressed and then i'll come and check back in with y'all all right y'all so this is what i'm gonna wear and i think i'm gonna throw my sambas on my feet like i'm kind of annoyed again y'all because why half of the stuff that i went to put on don't even fit me and i thought i was a four now but guess not so yeah there's that um scent we're gonna do baccarat because i feel like smelling good today real good so we're doing baccarat um yeah y'all i don't know i don't know so what am i six now your girl getting thick 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 <laughs> But yeah, I'm about to go outside. I'm going to bring y'all with me. You see how I have to hold on to the camera, y'all? Y'all probably don't really see it. But you see how I have to hold on to the side of the camera to make sure that the viewfinder don't fall. Because if I don't, look at it. You see? Fucking ridiculous. Spent all this money on these fucking things. And look how they falling apart. So aggravated. Whatever. All right, I'll see y'all outside.
Hey y'all, so I just made it back to the room. Look at all the bees I done caught. <laughs> I had so much fun, I can't wait to go back to another parade. But um, I had to come back to the room because my feet was hurting, I was tired of standing out there. And also I was hungry, so I just ordered room service. I ordered shrimp gumbo and a beignet with iced tea. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna just chill for a little while, then I'm gonna go do my makeup. And then I told y'all I have that um, shrimp for you and cabaret show to go to tonight and then i might be going out so yeah yeah i had such a good time so far i'm so excited <laughs> look at my bees though i'm really excited for the bees though because i said i was gonna get mad bees and look got mad bees okay Period. but yeah yeah i will talk to you in a little while so my room service is here i got beignets and then i got shrimp gumbo and iced tea so i'm excited to eat watching my girl destiny on the tv so let me finish watching my vlog yeah y'all that's what that's what How we getting into hey desk computer like, i am starving i want to try one of these bingo i didn't have the sd card any longer much later I'm super excited. It's gonna be super cute and just like super intimate. It's gonna be about six girls. So I just wanna go at home goods and see like what they have. I'm looking for maybe um like table covers, cute champagne glasses, just things like that. So let's go. This is so pretty. Alright, I'm gonna do a quick haul to show y'all what I'm gonna get. I already showed y'all this. This is so cute. $4.99. This was so cute, y'all. Like, y'all know I love glasses and mugs. I thought this was cute. I guess I'm feeling my right now. I don't so, know. I got this room is service $4 again. $4 I had to get the same thing. Um, yeah, but I tried something different. So, I got the beignets again because I told y'all those things was fire. I needed those again. Valentine's Day with these two. 
I wanted to try the pasta. It was crab and crawfish pasta. It looks really good. So I wanted to try that. And then we had to get the gumbo again. Um, it was so good, y'all. But yeah, let me eat because in a little while I'm going on that jazz um, cruise I told y'all about. And of course, you watching my girl Chelsea. Hey Chelsea. But yeah, I will catch up with y'all in a little while. so good morning it's like 10 30 it is february 12th Catherine's on her way out here so i'm gonna have a friend we're going zip lining later um i haven't been doing much i've just been laying in the bed i ordered room service i got an omelet with american cheese onions and peppers it was so good i also got toast and um I guess it was like potato, pota breakfast potatoes, I guess you would call it. But everything was good. Um, I just finished ordering my Usher tickets because after that performance yesterday, you know the price went up, okay? So, yeah, I'm in the building. I'm going to see my boy Usher, okay? Period. But um, last night, um, I don't know if I recorded anything. After I got off the boat ride, I went and found a hookah lounge like I told you guys I wanted to do. It was really fun. It was a lot of people in there. Everybody was watching the game. And um, I got uh, lamb chops, um, broccoli, and um, mashed potatoes, garlic mashed potatoes. It was like a Mediterranean spot. So the mashed potatoes were okay, but usually for me, for my liking, I like to add butter and sour cream. But since they're Mediterranean, they don't do it that way. So I didn't really finish the, brush, the um, mashed potatoes. But everything else on a plate, I tore up. Um, I got a drink that was really good. And I tried a new hookah flavor. It was called Back to the Future. And that was really good. So um, I might go back there again um, either tomorrow night or... I don't know, but I might go back. But yeah, I'm excited to zip line, y'all. Um, I know I'm rambling and I'm all over the place because I'm like, I keep forgetting that I'm vlogging because you know how my camera's broken. So I've just been setting it down on the table and I haven't been picking it up. But um, yeah, so I am excited to go zip line. And I was just looking at the website and it's like you zip line over alligators and turtles and everything like that. I just hope that they secure my harness. That's all I hope because. I'm a little terrified, but I'm still going to go through with it. Um, I'm excited. I'm going to probably bring the camera. I'm going to put it in my bag so I can um, record um, while I'm out there. But yeah, y'all, I will touch back. Um, I will touch base with y'all in a little while. I think I'm going to lay down for a little while, take a, like an hour or two nap, and then get up and start getting dressed to go um, to the zip line tour. Because I have to be there at 3 o'clock. It's at 3.30, my actual zip line time. But they say to be there 30 minutes before because I guess they have to explain everything to you. But yeah, so I got an Uber there and it's like 45 minutes away. So I'm definitely getting up at one and taking a um, quick shower. Then I'm going to jump in the Uber and ride over there. Catherine's going to meet me um, over there because her flight should be landing at two. So she's going straight there. But yeah, yeah, I will touch base with y'all when I wake up, when we get to the zip line and all that good stuff. Talk to y'all later.
Ramya. Three hours later. <laughs> Hey guys, this area to our right is New Orleans City Park. This is actually larger than Civic Central Park in New York, y'all. We have over 1,300 acres back here. 1,300. Now, the man who owned this property, y'all, his name was John McDonough. And when he passed away, he left all of this property to the cities of New Orleans and Baltimore. New Orleans had to go in about the city of Baltimore, so we have our very own city park. He also left his entire fortune to education, and New Orleans was lucky enough to get 35 schools out of the deal. Wow. Now for Katrina, inside the park, yes. Think about it, those big old caskets up today, there is no way they're going to fit inside these tubes. So we're still buried in a very thin, plain wood box, a burlap bag, or just a cotton shroud. Yeah, I'm literally on a bus and cemetery tour and it looks so spooky here but life after death y'all life after death this is pretty cool though like I had to come and just you know learn about the history and how everybody in Louisiana is buried because I thought it was pretty cool when I was reading up on it but yeah, yeah. I did a um, bring your own bottle bus tour. After this, we're gonna go get beignets and coffee and maybe some alcohol. But I want coffee or tea and beignets because I'm freezing cold, y'all. It is so cold out here. But this is cool. But no, that is a conspiracy theory. But I think sometimes people try to make sense of what happened. You know what I mean? early the next morning hey you guys good morning happy mardi gras today is february 13th it's eight o'clock in the morning i just got dressed i kept snoozing my alarm every hour because i got in at like 1 15 i went to that um cemetery um bus tour i had a good time the tour guide was really funny she had a good sense of humor so we love that but i just threw on like a little dress and a hoodie because it's cold outside y'all like next trip i'm going on as cold has to be like aspen or motherfucking iceland or something because the, the the cold if i wanted all of that i could have stayed in new york you know what i'm saying but yeah so i'm gonna throw my cardigan over this i'm probably gonna do my edges i'm not doing anything to my face i just probably like put more lotion and oil it up because i'm just going outside to the parade uh i think i'm gonna wear some sneakers because we're going to be walking up and down. I don't know if, if you guys, if, I don't know when the last time I was on a camera, but Catherine came yesterday. We went to um, Zipline and we also went to Nice Guys. Had fun at both of those places. But um, we got some footage from the Zipline. He let Catherine wear the um, camera on her hat. So whenever he gives me the footage, I'm going to throw that in here so you guys can see. But it was a fun experience. I was scared at first because you know I'm a, I'm always scared. You know, I'm, I'm always scary. But yeah, y'all. So I'm about to go outside, watch the parades. I'm bringing the camera with me even though my camera's a little hurt right now. But I'm bringing the camera with me. I'm so excited. But um, yeah, y'all. So I will keep y'all updated. I think I'm going to go get breakfast next door at Cafe Beignet. I feel like, y'all, I'm just rambling right now, but, yo, beignets have been my favorite dessert so far. Like, 
I just been eating them, eating them, eating them nonstop. Like literally last night when we went on a tour, she took us to um, a spot called um, Morning Call. It was open 24 hours. They had vignettes, hot chocolate, tea, liquor, all of that good stuff. I had three vignettes. I have one still left in there. I couldn't eat it. I just wanted to go to bed. But yeah, it was so good. Um, had a good time. So I will link everything down below that I've done so far in the description box just in case anybody else is coming out here and they want to do it. And you know what I'm mad about, y'all? Why did they announce that Super Bowl is going to be in New Orleans next year, right? Just my luck. How, how corny is that? When I'm here all week, now Super Bowl want to come when I'm leaving. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think I'm taking trips like that next year because I want to really like lock in. I want to get a position in the ICU. I want to like start making my way, you know, to go back to school basically because I need to do some requirements in order for me to even get into the program that I told you guys I wanted to um get into, which is the CRNA program. If you guys are new here and you don't know me, but yeah, y'all, let me stop rambling. Let me get outside and enjoy my day. And I will catch up with y'all later. Bye. Much, much, much later.
Hey y'all, so don't know when's the last time I talked to you guys in a vlog, but I just got back to the room. I went next door again to Cafe Beignet so I can try something different today. I got a regular orange juice and then I got the crawfish and grits with French bread. So this is the French bread. Mm -mm -mm. And the crawfish and grits. I'm excited. Hope it's good. But um, I asked for late checkout because my flight is at like one o'clock. So already took my shower. I'm gonna pack my bag soon, and I am going to leave myself downstairs in a lobby. I'm probably gonna go get some souvenirs or something like that, and then. At 3.30, I have a reservation at Fago de Chao to get me some little lunch. Because I want to eat good for Valentine's Day and before I get on my flight. Because I get back at 12 o'clock at night. So, as soon as I get back, I'm going, I'm getting in my car, I'm driving home, and I'm going to bed. Truthfully. But yeah, y'all, I'm not really doing much. I'm about to watch a vlog or to see who is, who posted, because I haven't been watching that many vlogs since I've been out here. So, about to watch a vlog, pack my bag, and yeah, I will check in with y'all later. Hey, this Turned up, nigga from the six side, breaking down a backwood. Uh -huh. 